oh hey <laughs> i wanted to show you guys what i found at a thrift store this um well, it wasn't this weekend it was yesterday which was monday today is tuesday march 12th and my market is the 16th so we have today tomorrow thursday friday we have four days and friday i need to tag everything and do a mock setup so we have three days but I did just hit my $3,000 goal for my inventory. Um, please don't compare yourself to that. I've been prepping since my last market on December 3rd. So I've had like three months of prep time. So that's like a thousand a month if you think about it that way. Um, don't compare. That's not what this is about. I literally just love watching other people's crochet vlogs. Um, but I never want you to feel bad for anything that happens um i am extremely fortunate in that i do not have to pay rent currently so i'm just working part-time as a nanny and full-time as a crochet artist so like my circumstance is completely different it may not last like this for a super long time whenever i have to start paying rent and more bills um i will be getting a big girl drop so <laughs> please don't compare yourself to me i am just very blessed at this stage in my life but again i wanted to show you what i got so again, I don't really remember how much each of these were. Originally they were $3, but I swear to God, I think I got them for like 10 cents each. I hate the sound of plastic. So I'm sorry if anybody else does too. But yeah, um, those are like little confetti banners and I got four of them. So I'm excited and they all kind of look like different colors. Um, and I think I'm gonna do one on each table because I have two tables. I normally make them in an L, like facing outward. And then there's this like inner part of my tent where I like set up chairs for me and my family or whoever's working the booth with me. This event will be my first indoor event though. So no tent. I don't really know how to feel about that. I hope I can still have two tables because I have a lot of shit and I have a, um, a fold out little bamboo shelf. It, it's not very big and in the fall I typically bring a wheelbarrow and put like a bunch of pumpkins and stuff in it but this is not fall this is spring so anyway I got those and then I kind of talked about this a little bit but I found these mini easels and they were one dollar each um it's a whiteboard on this side but I'll probably use the chalkboard this is gonna be so nice I'll show you guys later in the video what my current little like chalkboard things are they're like plastic made to look like chalkboard material um and they blow away so quickly if the wind hits them so i'm so pumped about these i got three of them i need to clean off um the other two but yeah that's kind of it the rest isn't that exciting but i don't know maybe you guys would like to see this um oh this giant thing so I like to read, but I have a hard time keeping up with my reading when I'm like crocheting a lot. So this thing like pops up and it has a little stand that pops up too. So I could set my Kindle up and then have my yarn shit like down in these holders, I guess we'll call them. So I was so pumped to find that too. Um, and then we got a bunch of like buckets and a foam roller and all sorts of things, but all of that was $16. We love thrifting. Yeah, we didn't find any of the furniture we need, but eventually an office video will come. I just may not have any furniture. And I'm really not trying to buy um, from like big box stores. I just, I'm a secondhand girly. So <laughs> if I can find it on the bid web or the auction website that I've been looking at, cool. If I find it on like Facebook Marketplace, cool. But yeah, um, I think that's it for now. So this morning I finished five of my mini chickens, party chicken, cream, cream. Yeah, so if I did five of these. These are what pushed me over the edge finally of 3,000, which, woo, woo. Um, I can't get into an April market. I mean, I've applied to a bunch and like, I just keep getting rejected, but I just found out I'm gonna be doing a two day market, May 4th and 5th at like a huge venue and then the next weekend, I have another market that's like from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So I'm really glad I have all of April 
to prep. I think the universe really helped me out there because I was getting all like down on myself, but no, we have two huge markets to prep for. So that'll be really fun. I think those are all the updates right now. We might go through inventory, but I'm in the mood to crochet. So I'm gonna let you know what I make, but now there's no pressure, just kind of like whatever I think would be good for the spring market. Yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. Um, sorry for the horrible lighting. I might try actually, okay, I think that's better. Um, it is Thursday night. I worked earlier. Let me show you what I, also, this is the reality of owning your own small business. You can look however you wanna look when you do inventory. Um, and I'm not gonna apologize for it. This is real, this is me, this is exactly who I'm supposed to be now, so. Um, I started, well, I made up a pattern for a butterfly because I didn't wanna pay for a butterfly, but this is <laughs> um, the body. Obviously, I haven't stuffed it yet. Um, body, head with a little antenna. The only thing is I don't know how to like cover this patch yet. If I need to finish this tonight. I need to embroider the face, stuff it, sew it. Blah, blah, blah. But that'll be probably like 12 to 15. I need, sorry, my cat's being a menace. Um, I These were just scraps that I had at work with me. I really would never do these colors normally. This is like a dark gray. I feel like it looks kind of green on camera. Then there's this one, which is almost like Valentine's Day, which like, it's March 14th. I'm a little late on that, but I thought they were kind of cute together and used up scraps. Those are just my like stress ball ones. Um, and then this is gonna be one of my, like it'll look like this whenever I stuff it and do the face. But yeah, okay. Those are the things I made at work today. I started a loaf cat as well. I don't know if that's gonna get finished because I think my plan right now is show you guys everything I have for the market and like briefly tell you all the prices off the top of my head. I don't have my spreadsheet with me right now because I'm pretty sure I've kept up with inventory. Like as I've been completing projects, I just go ahead and put it in my like master spreadsheet of my inventory. And my brother, he's so helpful. He actually set it up to where every time I add something, it goes ahead and just like, um, like adds to the total sum at the bottom. So I always know how much I have in inventory. Love that. Oh, and then I need to clean off my chalkboards. My goal, oh my God, <sighs> one thought at a time. My goal right now, again, is to show you everything I have and I need to tag. So I'm hoping to kind of, I think I might just show you all first and kind of figure out an organization system. And then I have, I have literally all of my like containers that things can go in on my table with me up here. Cause I don't think I'm actually gonna do like a full mock setup on tables. I think I'm just gonna figure out what's gonna go in like baskets, buckets. Um, I kind of have more like trays type of thing. So I'm going to figure out where things are going to go and then like what signage is needed because I don't think I have enough tags for everything I have. So we're going to get creative. We're going to get fun, funky, fresh. And worst case, I'm glad I'm doing this Thursday night because if I really need more tags, I'm gonna have to run some errands tomorrow anyway so I can get more but I kind of want to just see what we can do otherwise I know some people make their own tags I don't really have the materials or the time or like the desire at this current moment to do that so I'm probably not gonna do that but okay let's get into it um let me just show you guys what I'm working with first this is all small stuff in this like overflowing cardboard box um i'm gonna switch it over to this 10 pound polyfill box because it'll all fit in there um this ginormous thing of my like large large items and then these are my medium sized items okay so i just organized for myself oh, my cat thinks this is a playground currently and i'm gonna freak out okay i guess i'm just gonna show you everything I have. <laughs> These are all my small items and we're gonna count them as we go. So I have 
pocket frogs. These are my small size. I have this lime green one. I have two of these multi ones. Cute. You can't really see the faces in this lighting, but there are faces. Sage green. <laughs> my brain just stopped working. This is like a darker sage green and I did a little heart blush and then an emerald with heart blush. So that is, we're gonna add this up, okay? So that is seven. And then I think I have seven of these as well, but these are my like minis, mini pocket frogs. I did different faces. These don't have the white around the eyes. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna add that or the blush, um, but I am gonna leave out all of the stuff that needs like maintenance um, and I can work on that tonight and tomorrow. Um, and then this is like key lime instead of the bright lime and then emerald. Okay, so another seven. Okay, next we'll do turtles, I guess. I really wanted to make more turtles, but I just didn't have time. Um, I tried Stitches by Patty's um, free pattern on her Instagram. This is it in like burnout blanket size. I think this is actually Big Twist in Premiere, but you know what? It's fine. And then this is Premiere Key Lime Hobie Dark Green. I don't know. But yeah, I think I really like the little baby baby one. I think it's so cute. Um, this one's really cute too, but I don't know. This one just turned out a little cuter to me. I haven't decided. I think I might have said this one was like $8 and this one was $5. Oh, I forgot to give prices for the other things. Um... These minis are $5, and these are probably eight. That's usually kind of how I do that. Okay, and then all of my sunflower turtles are 15, because um, they do just take a little longer and they're more detailed. So cute, I have five of these. So turtles, if we're just counting items, I also have seven turtles, okay? I guess that was like my magic number this time. I don't really know. Okay, next we have Chicks. Um, this is a pattern I kind of just free-handed and then went a little crazy with um, during this market prep, but I have eight of these. I mean, I could show you all of them, but they all kind of look the same. I did the same eye shape and beak for all of them. So eight. Then I have, um, my brain's not working. Oh yeah, my mini chickens. So this is the style I do. Um, this one needs some serious help. I This is probably one of the first things I made um, along my crochet journey. So at least we know I have gotten better, you know? That one's not a good example. <laughs> Where's a good example? Maybe I haven't improved at all. This one's cute. This one's terrifying. Okay. Um, and then I, I did make a party chicken. Party chicken. Yeah. So I have like black, brown, this like big twist, um, cream. No, I'm sorry. This is burnout blanket twist and they're like oatmeal or cream or something. White. This is burnout blanket almond. I have light gray, dark gray, and then party chicken. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten mini chickens. And then I only have three. Mm, that doesn't seem right. No, okay. I have four mini dinos. I do not know who this pattern was. If you guys want to know, I will happily look it up for you. Um, it was free, I do know that for sure. <laughs> so free like mini chubby dino, I'm sure you'll find it. This is the right way to do it. And then I was experimenting with bobbles. Um, this face, no, he looks cute, he looks cute. But anyway, um, the bobbles aren't bad, but I do prefer the way that looks. But, We've got like half and half mix there. Those are all posh. I was going a little crazy with the posh at that time, but I think the neons look really cute for the dinosaurs. 
Okay, so that is four more items. Then I have four pigs. I wanted to make more pigs, but my pigs never sell. Honestly, the pink ones, when I had pink ones, sold really well. Um, these are my only ones that are left, and I've had these for so many markets. I guess people just don't like the brick red or the melon color. And then I made this pink pig, and the nose ended up weird. So I don't know if this one's going to sell either. And it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, but this nose looks like that, and it looks so cute. And then I followed the exact same pattern. I think it's like Anilu or Anilu. I don't even know. Again, if you guys want patterns, I will happily provide them for you. Um, yeah. So four of those. But I wanted to make like pale pink ones. And then I just ended up not prioritizing it because I think I had more springy stuff um, that I could spend my time on. I have two of the... Oh my god. I have two mallard ducks. So cute. Um... This is my pattern. I guess I just did bobbles originally because these just have never sold. I made these a long time ago and they just have stuck with me. Um, I think they're adorable, but I have the chicks. Um, the chicks that are this size, not the mini chicks I already showed you, those sell really well. So I did have to make some more of those. And I don't really know where I put them. So I guess we'll find them, but they're not in the mini basket which is a little weird, but I still, oh my God, I haven't been telling you guys prices. Going back, mini chicks are $8. Mini chickens are $8. Dinos are 15. Pigs are 10. These are 15. Okay, next I have another one of my own free-handed patterns. I don't sell patterns, but um, I do make my own for myself sometimes. But nobody, I mean, there's so many patterns out there. I don't really feel like I need to like contribute to that. But if for some reason you guys really like any of the patterns I make, I'm happy to share them. But um, these are my mini penguins. They come out a lot cuter in the big form. Um, I named this pattern Paul the Penguin. Um, but I have three three black, one green, one pink. Um, those I think were $12 off the top of my head. I don't know for a fact. This is just like a one-off little mini loaf cat. I'm gonna add some more detailing to the face because I think I was just brushing when I did this, but it's cute. This will be $10. Then I have these pocket bears. Um, this is once again a free-handed pattern of mine. I think these are so cute. The bark tweed um, yarn from Bernat Blanket. It's still so soft, or not Bernat Blanket, just Bernat. Um, but it's so soft, but it's really like structured, and I think it looks so cute. And like, look at the little face. But the, uh, the tweed ones like never sell, but if I make the same pattern in just like, um, like this brown, it'll sell, or in white for like a polar bear, it sells so I don't know maybe it'll be their lucky day but I have four four of these um yeah anyway I sell these for ten dollars I think ten dollars and I don't know if I've mentioned this in this video yet but I base off of I base my prices off of time um and if for some reason time does not work then I kind of go off of size but I charge 15 an hour for my work so yeah if that gives you an idea like these probably take me like 30 minutes so I charge half of 15 eight dollars all right moving on to the classic Mabel chickens. I try not to make a bunch of things that everybody has. I do want my booth to be somewhat like unique, especially when there are other crocheters at the market. Um, and I know for a fact there are gonna be other crocheters at this market. So, so far I don't think we have any of the same things, but I don't know, she might, cause there's a girl who's been posting in like the Facebook group that we all got put in for the market. Um, I've never experienced that before, but 
anyway she's been posting her stuff and she might have these but i feel like she she had like little octopi as well but different than mine and she has bees but they're also different than mine so same things but still like i think that's the good thing about trying to find like more unique patterns um that they're at least still different enough and like um all of my stuff is embroidered so that does add a different element as well but yeah so i have rainbow party chicken two browns They're different shades, but three cream slash white ones. Um, a black, <laughs> sorry, black. Clearly this one didn't sell from last time. If it has a tag, that means it's been out of market and didn't sell. Um, sorry, phone being weird. One of my Stardew Valley chickens. Another Stardew Valley chicken. Another rainbow. This is more like pastel rainbow. Yeah, so I guess that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, math, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten chickens. Um, I've already put these in a basket because I think this is how. Oh my god, hold on. Mallard hitching a ride. Okay. I think this is how they're gonna be at the market. Um, I won't have them stacked this high, like I'll just have some extras um, in like a bag or something. But these are my bees that, I, oh my God, I'm bringing to this market. I've brought the like cylindrical bees, not the sitting bees before, and they've always sold out. But again, I know those are super popular, so I did wanna just have like a different option. But then I just saw Refined Vibes switch to this, so now I feel like everyone's gonna make it, which is, again, totally fine. But I'm gonna keep making these because I personally think they're way cuter. Um, but yeah, so I have a bunch of different colors. Okay, these are my bees, and they'll go in this tray, and they'll have a little sign that says, $10 each. And I have 22 of those. <laughs> I made a lot of bees. 22 bees. What's next? Oh yeah, so I made a bunch of um, mushy crushies. Free pattern. Don't remember who it's by. But I think I have six of these. This was my first one that I made and the yarn that I used, it was like a cheap yarn that was gift uh, given to me by a friend and it has the worst texture so I don't know if this guy's gonna sell but um I love this one the pink is probably my favorite like it just looks so cute um this one is also adorable but orange is my favorite color I don't make a lot of orange stuff because it doesn't sell as well I don't know, I'm apparently weird for loving orange. I also love pink. Pink and orange are definitely like tied for me. I love orange. Rainbow, magic mushroom. Okay, so I have, oh wait, this one's also precious. I love the baby blue and brown combo. Um, yeah, so I have six. Six mushy crushies. And that's the pattern name, if you were wanting to look it up. I'll do baby elephants next. I have a white one with blue eyes. Um, I originally started making white ones around Christmas for like white elephant gifts. Like you literally give a white elephant. Blue. I have two gray ones. So cute. They look so cute with the blush too. This is Nook's Hooks free no sew elephant pattern. I'm obsessed with it. I don't care how popular these get, I will always make them. I love them. Um, but yeah, so I have six of these. And then I make them in Burnout Blanket as well. This is actually Premier yarn, but I'm just probably gonna say Burnout so you know the size difference between like Premier and Posh, or I'm sorry, um, Parfait Chunky and Posh size versus like Burnout Blanket and Chenille Basics size, but um, more blue, more light gray. I have another light blue and then a darker, oh my God, darker gray. 
I love this one. I think it's so cute. And its eyes like want to tuck in, but it looks like it's like hiding. But yeah, so sweet. And then a mauve color. I think this was Dusty Mauve from, no, Mellow Mauve for Nat Blanket. And this is one of the softest colors I've ever felt. And it's really pretty. Anyway, tangent. <laughs> I have five of those. Oh, I forgot to tell you prices again. The Mushy Crushies, I think I have set at 18 because they do take a little longer and they're just bigger and they're functional. So higher price. They actually don't take that long. I could probably charge 15 for them, but they're functional. So, um, my Mabel, ah, the Mabel chickens are um, 15 each. These are 10. The mini elephants are 10. The bigger elephants are 12. 12? I don't know. They're either 12 or 15. Then I have um, what I consider my small octopi. I need to glue down some of these eyes. Oh my god, that smile also needs to be redone. Um, but yeah, I have, let me just show you, two raspberry kisses, one rainbow. I think this is fruit punch from maybe Parfait XL sprinkles slime? I, I don't know. I feel like I just said a lot of words that don't make sense. I stopped wanting to talk. But those are all the different colors I have of these small octopi. Oh wait, another one. And then I have a red one that I made at work today that will join this crowd. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'm just gonna go ahead and say 12 because I will have 12 for the market. Um, those are $10 each. Now, I have my mini octos. I'm just going to speed through these again. These are $5. I don't know how many I have, so we're going to count as we go. Um, Okay, there's 14 here, I think. One, two, three. Oh wait, I also have this guy. So 15 here, that sounds right. Um, and then I made two more today at work. So 17, 17. People do like these, little kids like them a lot, especially little boys, I feel. Especially like if you have reds, um, I feel like little boys love the red ones for some reason. Um, reds, blues. Y'all know the drill. Colors aren't gendered, but little kids do like what they like, so. And then this guy, I think he's, I think I might just start like a miscellaneous bin, or I just might put him out, and if someone really wants him, I'll just name a price. Because, <laughs> I don't know, he looks a little funky. I think I free-handed him. He's really cute, like, I love it. Um, but it's not the same size. <laughs> it's not the same size as this this one honestly the face looks kind of cuter but it needs whiskers i don't know this one's kind of just a random if it happens it happens i'm waiting for the thunder to end okay it's midnight now um i've gotten a lot done i had to do some cosmetic surgery on a couple on honestly like quite a few of the um stuffed animals my brain has turned off for the day, so sorry, I'm probably gonna speak really slowly. But yeah, so I had to like, just fix some faces I wasn't happy with, and I didn't have fabric glue for a long time. And as we know, I embroider all of my faces, so all of the like details would shift around. Um, so now I'm able to glue them all down, but that means I'm having to like go back through three months of work and glue shit down. So it's taking a while. Um, little frustrating i'm a little tired but i have finally tagged everything i plan on tagging 
of my small stuff. So now we still have medium and large. I don't think I have as many items in each of those categories, luckily. So I did also want to show you guys, I got the butterfly finished. Um, I decided to actually sell it for 20 because I kind of love it. And if it doesn't sell, I want it. <laughs> um, but yeah. And since it's the only option I or like the only butterfly that'll be there, I think I might work on butterflies while I'm sitting at the market. So maybe I can put like one or two more out while I'm there because this didn't take that long either. But I love it. I think I want to add like these, but like legs. Oh, three on each side. That would be so cute. But I, I'm charging 20 for this one. Um, and like imagine when I do it in burnout blanket. It's going to be so big. I love it. Yeah, I think it turned out cute. And then I ended up disconnecting these. I still don't think the back looks that clean. But honestly, it kind of looks like a flower, which is cute. So yeah. Oh my god. And like the little face. This kind of shifted in the box. But Oh wait, no, I glued it down. Did I just glue it down weird? <laughs> no. Okay. This is why you shouldn't work when you're like super tired, friends. But I don't know how much more I'll get done. I might continue tagging. Or honestly, I might just show you guys more stuff. And then if my phone dies, because it's on like 8%, then I'll finish showing you all in the morning. Okay? Okay. All right. Fruit snail. This is strawbert. Um, I also have. I think this was bluebird. Um, so cute. I think the blueberry one's my favorite. Um, but these are all twenty-two. All of the fruit snails that I've made. The apple's probably my least favorite. The stem I didn't make it long enough, and I'm not really happy with the face. I tried it like three times, and for some reason, I just couldn't get it. And I think this looks like a tomato. Maybe I'm being too hard on it, but not my fave. But anyway, all of my fruit snails are $22. I made a large sunflower turtle. And then like a daisy one, I guess. Those are both 20 I think. I think I priced them at 20 I haven't tagged any of these. These are now my medium size plushies. Um... This baby bunny, little girly, um, she's going to be 20, I believe. This little puppy, I think it was a free pattern. I feel like it needs like a collar or something, but I'm going to bring it like this. And if it doesn't sell again, then I'll add a tail and a collar next time. But this one's priced at $12. So technically... That should be with my small stuff. Okay. A giant version of the pigs I showed you earlier. Um, I love its little curly tail. He, I don't remember what I'm pricing this one at. Probably 20. Somewhere around 20. Um, yeah, so this was from a previous market. I had five of these and three of them sold last time. But little baby seals so cute I think I have two of these yeah two baby seals um a duck with its head through a flower now she's been in the box for a while so she's a little deformed but I think it's so cute I also went a little crazy with the white embroidery We'll see if it sells. If not, I'll redo it. That's kind of my philosophy at this point because I just redid so many faces. But I'm glad I redid faces on my like smaller stuff. Also, I cannot tell you what I priced this at. I'm gonna have to check my spreadsheet. I wanna say like 30 something. Just because of how much time that one took. Um, same dinosaur and that like fruit punch, but I did the baubles and I just don't like it. I want to like it because it's so much faster, but I don't know. This yarn also was like ugly and cute at the exact same time. Like I love it from a distance and then when you look too close, it's like, okay. The more tired I am, 
the more I just like share my opinions unsolicited. So anyway, I think this one is $20. Most of my medium stuff seems to, actually no, cause this size dino is 20. So this one's probably like 25, 30, I don't remember. Um, again, we'll have to whip out the spreadsheet girl. So I have a lot of these. I think I made like the rainbow. So a bunch of these little dinos. I think they're all the bobble ones. I think I only tried, or I only did the like sew, the sewing ones on the smaller ones. Cause I wanted to see how these sell. Cause if they sell as bobbles, like who cares what I think? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. There's uh, this elephant, the pattern. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like little purple mauve embroidered hearts on it. And she has like mauve eyes, but um, this pattern is Nook's Hooks No Sew Elephant pattern. This was one of the ones that I made with a smaller hook size, just hook size to see if I like it. Um, and I, I don't like using a smaller hook size. We That was the consensus. Eight millimeter hook with burnout blanket. 6.5 millimeter hook with burnout blanket. No way, I'm gonna make eight millimeter. Cause I don't see holes. Like I think my stitches still look pretty. Like I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, I did the ears right on this one, but I like the eyes more on this one. So you live and you learn. Um, both of these are probably priced at 30 or 35. I think 30, I don't know. And I feel bad pricing them the same, but like they did take the same amount of time. And as I said before, I pretty much only charge for time. And I wanted to say like, I feel like by not charging for materials, I do end up like making money back to pay for my materials um, because I do upcharge some things. Like if something only takes me like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, but it's like large enough to sell for $15, I'll do that. So like. I make it up in other ways. It's not a perfect system, okay? Some of it's just like, mm, you look like $40. Okay, these are like my favorite things to make. Um, I'm obsessed with them and like people love these. I just freehand these. The smile needs to be redone. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> oh, here's one of my other mini sunflower turtles. It was in the wrong bin. Oh, I have three of these. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let's see. My spreadsheet said I had six of these, but I've only been able to find five. Um, God, it's gonna be kind of hard. So that's a little unfortunate because I thought that I made two in this Raspberry Kisses um, colorway, but. I don't know. Um, I also have a giant one, but I hate this yarn, and I think everybody else hates this yarn. Oh, these go for 20. Um, this one goes for 40. Goes for 40. It's gone to so many markets with me. Nobody wants it. Um, this is that Bernat twist line, but it's in like a teal blue colorway. It just looks weird. I don't know. It's like too much variation going on but maybe one day it'll find a home. I keep bringing it. Even if someone wants to use it as a dog toy, like, makes me sad, but at least it would get used, because um, I don't want it. But anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this should be over here. Like, it should be tucked behind the black. But, like, when I don't glue it down, it moves. So I don't know if I'm actually making sense. It shouldn't be able to move like this. I should be able to, it should stay there. This, <laughs> this frog actually terrifies me. I think I need to move these up because, wait, that's scary too. No, man. 
Okay, wait, which one's cuter? Neither. She needs a makeover. But anyway, this is the fairy frog. Fairy frog, fairy flipsy the frog, $26. Caterpillar. Cute. Caterpillar. I think these are 22 each. Um, gnome. I've taken this to so many markets. I don't know if this gnome's ever going to sell. But it's $12. Chicks that I mentioned earlier. Um, 15 each. Axolotl. This is like $12, I think, in my spreadsheet. Last time I'm going to be bringing this pattern specifically, I'm going to try new axolotl patterns because I don't like making this one. I think this is the Loretta Loops one. Um, another Nooks Hooks pattern. This is Frog, No So Frog in Velvet Yarn. I doubled it so that it would be like thicker and I forgot to stuff <laughs> the yarn so they're actually flat, but if you just like puff them, that's fine. Yeah, I think this one's also 30. It's roughly the same size. This guy. Well, I guess it's closer in size to the other one. I hate this one. I'm not gonna lie. This one, it looked so cute on the pattern thing. The picture. I think this is so ugly. And you're supposed to put the face up here, but it looks like it has like a big cleft chin and like the girl who created this, hers did not look like this. Hers is very cute, so this is definitely user error. I keep bringing it to markets, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. This one I have set at 28 because it took me so long. It took me so long. Again, the eye is doing the thing too, so I need to glue that down. Um, I have a bluebird. Bluebird. This one. I'd be surprised if this one ever sells. I'm being very critical right now, but again, my unsolicited opinions just come out at night. Mallard. This is Larry. Um, this is the teal love cat that I mentioned. Um, I had to do some cosmetic work on Mr. Larry. I still think I should have added um, a cloud on the butt, but I didn't have time. So maybe one day he'll get a little cloud booty. Or just like clouds all over him. Like maybe he's a sky cat. I think that's cute. But if he sells, he sells. I kind of doubt it. He's gone to like four markets with me. So that's 37 medium size plushies and 138 small size. So I'm not gonna do math right now, but I think we're at like almost 200 items so far. Okay, we're on 3%, so I'm gonna try to hustle, but these are my like large items. This is Miss Gertrude's Goose, um, gorgeous, love her. I don't love the legs. I think I talked about that previously. I love the bonnet. I think this is so precious. I ended up sewing it on the head because it wouldn't stay on otherwise. Anyway, this I think I'm gonna charge 42 for her. This is Paul the Penguin. As mentioned, I do think Big Paul is much cuter. Kind of looks like a Squishmallow. Very chunky, um, 38. Scrap Snink. Um, yeah, this was just made with a bunch of scraps. Very fun to make. I think that's 54. Who knows if that'll sell, but I think it would be just like a cute booth decoration. So, um, This was an ice cream narwhal. This was a free pattern on Pinterest. Highly recommend. It was very easy. Um, just time consuming because this is in parfait chunky so i'm not like it it's pretty big but anyway um love it oh wait 60 dollars i think giraffe this is weibel crochet um i really don't remember how much i priced this one for i'm gonna guess 30. this is one of my Big cows. This is another one that I ended up using a smaller hook size to see if I liked it. And again, I don't um, because my big size almost is the same size. This is supposed to be my mini and they are like the same. And before like this one was like way bigger. I feel bad charging 50. I think it's 50 for this one, but I'm going to charge for my time, not the size. 
Um, this one, I believe I charged 28 for. <laughs> so maybe I should up the price a little bit for this guy, but I don't think he's that cute. I think this one is way prettier. Like the eyes are beautiful and like, I don't know, the colors or this one just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Are you all this critical of your work or like, do I need to work on myself? Um, another bunny. This was a no sew bunny. Or wait, actually, I think you sew the ears on. But it's really quick and easy. And I made this in um, Burnett Velvet Plus. That's why it's so huge. But I think I'm charging 28 for this one. Okay, this one's kind of tragic. So big. Not that cute. And I dropped it. Or the wind might have blown it off. I don't think I just like dropped it. But um, at a muddy market. So I don't know if I should even try to sell this one. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's huge. And I have it only marked at 65 because I just don't think it's that cute. But anyway, that was a YouTube video for free, for sure. Um, Lamy, this is another Weibel crochet pattern. I really like them, clearly. $40. Nobody has ever even seemed remotely interested in this lamb, which makes me so sad because I think this is precious. But now it's spring, so maybe. Um, I chose weird colors for this dog. I was just being like experimental, but this was another free Instagram pattern. I think it's, I don't remember. I don't remember the name. I'm not sure, but $48. Again, kind of undercharging because I know it's probably not the most like common color choice. So yeah, I use a random generator sometimes. Which is so fun, but then like you get stuff like that that like just doesn't sell because it's not very popular. Um, but anyway, this is a flower. I hate this part. I really need to fix that. I might be able to like tuck it. But anyway, um, I this was a Pinterest pattern I found, but I ended up adjusting it because it just didn't work out. Um, and I didn't want to keep making flower petals and it said I shouldn't need to but I did need to keep making more than what it said. Again, with the weird color choices, all of my big stuff, I'm just kind of like, if it sells, I'll be shocked because I don't think any of it's that cute. But this is a raccoon, sorry. Raccoon, um, it's pink. I also need to fix the eyes because they're uneven. Oh no, they're not, it just looks like that for a second. I just saw a raccoon in our backyard weird um ginormous tail which is like so fun i don't remember what i wanted to price this at or this these are both probably like 38 in that range like 38 40 um hippo libel crochet my only complaint is look at the difference between the head size and the body size it is so disproportionate disproportionate but it's so cute look at it sorry my partner came in and i got nervous um i don't know how much i'm charging for the hippo i mean if things sell i'll definitely tell you um what price they sold for in the breakdown section of this vlog um and then just know that right now my current inventory number is um, 3180, so 3180 for people <laughs> who are like me. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing well. We'll see what sells and what doesn't. I keep thinking the market's tomorrow morning because I normally do this the night before and then like cry because I'm so stressed out and like there's too much to do. But I actually get to set up tomorrow, and then it's Saturday morning, so yeah, I still have a lot to do. I still have a lot to tag and a lot of eyes to glue down, but we're going to deal with that in the morning. I think right now I should go to bed. I want to play Stardew Valley. Sorry I'm in such a like strange mood right now. I feel like my brain is fried, but I got a lot done. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
It's been a very, very productive day. I got a lot of housework done. I went on a walk. I cooked. I showered. <laughs> Probably not a big deal to most people. Those are things that can often be very hard for me. Um, so, cool. I'm just kind of rambling, so I'm gonna sign off. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I have. Hi guys, um, it's Friday morning now. I've just been working on tagging and cosmetic surgery. <laughs> um, for example, I fixed the eyes on this pig. Um, they're still gluing, so give him a minute and then I tagged him. So now he can go in the box. Um, I tried to fix Miss Fairy Girl. I tried to fix her. She still looks a little scary, I don't know. I might just end up doing like a price reduction. I think also I want to make her like a little gold crown. I think that would fix a lot of this. Or just make her like more appealing in general. So, yeah. I'm about to go run some errands. I think I'm gonna get boba. And then I need to pick up my prescription go get my auction items, and then I'm almost out of tags. I only have four left, so I definitely, oh, six, I have six left. Um, I definitely overestimated how many I had, so I do need to go get tags, um, but hopefully none of that should take too long, and then I can come back and just keep trucking along. I'm also hoping not many more need help with their faces, because that's taking up a lot of time. Just tagging shouldn't take that long. Um, I also keep forgetting to count the amount of large items I have. It looks like about 20, so if you add, I don't even, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay, I forgot to film literally everything, but this is my final setup. Yeah. Good morning. Okay, so it's Sunday now. I completely forgot to update yesterday um, at the market. And then after the market, we had some friends come in town and they came to the show, which was really nice. And then we went and got dinner with them and went out. So no filming yesterday. Um, honestly, this show was super slow, kind of like I anticipated. I did about what I thought I was going to do, maybe a little more. Um, I haven't calculated actually like how many items sold, but I had 197 items to start with. And my inventory was around 3,100, almost 3,200. So now I'm like down to a couple hundred, well, probably a hundred or two below 3,000. So if you want to do the math, you can do the math, but Again, it's really not about the prices, I would say, or I'm sorry, about the um, numbers, but I wouldn't say it was one of my best, but it definitely wasn't one of my worst. I've been to some where I've sold like three items, so um, we'll count. I'll tell you guys like how many of each item sold. One of these guys sold for $15. Three of my mini chickens sold. Um, I have eight left. Is that right? No, I have seven left. So three sold, I have seven left. And these sell for $8. Four of my mama chickens sold, Mabel chickens, whatever you wanna call them. Um, one of my Stardew Valley ones sold. I don't think she knew that it was like a Stardew Valley reference, but that's totally okay. And I sell these for 15, so four sold, I have six left. Um, I just searched for one of my like bigger chicks because one sold and one didn't. I can't find the other one, so that's a little concerning. Um, it probably just like fell out of the car or something. But yeah, so I sold one of those for $15, but it wasn't one of my mini ones for $8. It was one of the, the bigger ones. And then, yeah, none of my mini chicks sold, which I was kind of surprised. Um, one of my mallards sold, which I was like so pumped, which he's buried, but it was the same size as the chick that I just talked about um, $15 and I had carried those two for a really long time so now I just have one left um, and it was a little boy and he was so cute he was like hugging it and it was just precious um, let's see what else 
my mini octos this size. How many sold? Three of my mini octos at this size sold for five dollars. And this is my like slightly bigger size. These are my small, not my minis, my small octos. Um, I sold one of these for $10. And this is my medium size Octo. I sold one of these for $22. And it was actually my velvet one, like the velvet plus that looks furry. And I was kind of surprised that one sold. So I might try to always have like one velvet one. Okay, two of my mini bees sold. Um, I think one was like classic colored. And I know one was one of my like blue and purple ones. So those sell for $10 each. What else? Oh, one of my mini pigs sold. I was kind of surprised. It was the bubblegum pink one that I made um, like the night before the market and that sold. So that's cool. Those are $10, the mini pigs. Um, that hot pink small loaf cat, I only had one of those, so I can't show it to you, but that sold. Again, the little girl that got it was so cute and she was just like holding it and that's my favorite thing. I love seeing people like actively enjoying the softness and the huggability. So yeah, that sold for $10. Yeah, so two of these sold. Um, I want to say blue and gray are the colors that sold. And then none of these did. So people definitely prefer the like more parfait chunky size or posh size versus um, Bernat. So at least for me in my experience, and I feel like it's been like that at other markets, but when I've only had the Bernat size, um, like if all the minis sell out first and then I only have the Bernat, um, they will sell. So good to know, but two of the mini ones sold for $10. I tried to have more $10 stuff this time and I do feel like it paid off. Uh, let's see. That little small dog that I talked about that I said like if it didn't sell, I was going to try to make it a collar and like all sorts of stuff. It sold right at the end. Like I was packing up my stuff and a little girl came over and fell in love with it. So that sold for $12. These guys, two of these sold. I was so excited. Um, these go for $10 as well. So I have frogs in different sizes. One this size sold, but it was one with blush and more like face details. I wanted to keep some just like super plain. I don't know if everybody wants like blush and I don't know, but none in this size sold, so made $5 with one of these selling. One of my um, popable mushrooms sold, it actually sold to my friend, um, and he picked the ugliest one in my opinion. <laughs> like it didn't have any facial details, and like it was rougher, like it wasn't as soft as the others, but hey, he picked it. So yeah, that sold for $18 to my friend. Okay, so one this size sold. I think it was the posh lime green, the glow warm, glow warm. That's so hard to say. I always want to say glow worm, but glow warm. That one sold. Um, none of the others did. I only had three more of these in the mini size, but one sold for $15. And then, and then the red one in my bigger size sold for $20. Three of my mini penguins sold. These are always a hit, which is so surprising to me. I haven't had this size before. I've done like small, and then I obviously have my big plush one, um, but my mini ones were new, and like penguins just always do well, in my opinion. Um, but these sold for $12, and I sold three of them. One pink, two classic color. Oh yeah, I don't have them with me because they were both like one-offs, but the Stitches by Patty, um, Tiny Turtle, it's a free pattern on her Instagram. I made one in Bernat for $8 and one in like Parfait Chunky size for $5 and both sold. So that's everything I sold. If you wanna know the total, feel free to do the math. But if you guys do wanna hear totals and it's not something that like makes you feel bad about yourself, if people have like a really good market, I'm definitely willing to share that. But again, like I just don't, Necess like feel like it's totally necessary okay so I sold 33 items total so that means I still have math is hard for me Hold on. 164 items so going into my next 
like so in May I think I talked about this um I already have booked Jesus Christ I have a two-day market May 4th and 5th that is at like a big baseball stadium here so I'm assuming it'll be pretty good and then I have an international food truck festival booked in Louisville which anything in Louisville tends to do kind of better because like where I am right now is smaller that one is a long one it's from 8 to 10 and that's the next weekend so that's the 11th and then the weekend after that I was contacted by the people I did Chris Kindle market with in like a really busy part of town up here um, and they asked if I'd be interested in something on May 18th. I still have to apply and like get accepted and all that, but I told them like, yeah, I'd be interested. So I potentially have like three weekends booked with like, if you want to say four markets, because the first one is two. Um, I need to have a lot of shit. So my goal is to have 5,000 in inventory when May begins. I don't know if that's going to happen. So I don't know. If you wanna stay up to date, feel free to keep watching. I'm gonna be posting weekly vlogs, at least that's the goal. Um, also, the room I'm standing in is going to be my office, so you'll probably see this scenery a little bit more. Um, right now, there's nothing in it. It's an empty room. Like I just have you all balanced on my partner's old standing desk. That's gonna be removed from here. Um, this was my tapestry, so I think he's just leaving it in here for me. And then I think I get to keep the plants. I don't really know. But I'll um, probably in the next vlog film like an empty room tour and then show you all what I already have. I'm still missing chairs. I don't have a desk chair or an accent chair. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think we might move our papasan that just isn't really being used right now um, into here until I get a chair that I'd like. Yeah, that's what's to come. I hope you all have some peace and happiness in your day today. Um, I hope everyone's well. I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.